guys. Um, this is the second video I'm filming today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, I figure if I can do a bunch in one day, then maybe I can get them up a little more frequently than, you know, once a month. <laughs> so in the previous video, I'm just going to show this. So I got this for Christmas from my cousin, actually, and I don't think I ever showed showed this thing. So I got... Uh, he got me Overkill, Winds of War, or Wings of War, sorry. The Wings of War for Christmas. This is gatefold colored. Uh, it's the gray version. So uh, it said that it was limited to 1,500 copies. So everyone's probably already seen this anyway. But, uh, yeah. Might as well show it. Gatefold. Just leaves lyrics and it's uh with a gray vinyl. No, kind of different. So today was my first time playing the vinyl. So I have it on CD, so I played the CD a bunch, but and this is the other insert. Band photo, liner notes, and it's gray as well. No point in showing the other one. So, played that today. Uh, save the rest of the vinyl for the end. And this is the other stuff that I've listened to so far today. The day's not over, but. Uh, Running Wild, The Brotherhood. It's like one of my favorite Running Wild albums. Love, love, love this album. And it is so good. If you love Running Wild, and I know a ton of you do, if you've not heard this one, uh, definitely get it, listen to it uh, any way you can, because it's, it's an amazing album. Every song on there kicks ass. And uh, I'd uh, rip this and put it on my phone a uh, month, maybe maybe longer ago, a couple months ago maybe. And I never did listen to it. And today I'd run in and do some errands. So uh, I thought, what the hell? I'm going to listen to this. And uh, yeah, I forgot how good it is. Just straight up, you know, alternative rock or whatever you want to call it. But uh, that song, Where the River Flows in Gel, really good. It's, uh, especially where the river flows, that riff. It's definitely a metal riff. It's a metal tune. Pretty good album. I enjoyed it. I'd say where it had been so long, too. And, uh, also, yeah, these next two also have my phone that I also listen to while I was out doing my errands. So, uh, Cinderella Night Songs. Definitely my favorite Cinderella album. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but I don't know. <laughs> it's just super, super cool. And keeping in that same vein, that's Pusquet. Don't need to say anything about this, right? Kind of like the last one. Everybody knows this. Great party album. It was awesome today because uh, it's like 15 degrees out today, nice and sunny. So I had the windows down, you know, cranking it. Good time. <laughs> this one's, I don't know, man. The Bleeding is definitely my favorite Corpse album, but uh, this one is like right there with it, man. Everything on this album is wicked. It's such a good album. Such a ridiculously amazing album. So that was the other CD I played. And when I was digging out my vinyl for the bonsai video that I just made, I actually forgot that I had this. So I thought, where I played that CD, I thought, eh, might as well show this. So I got kill picture disc. The receipt was still in with it. So I bought it November 29th, 2013. 
So, forgot I had it. So, yeah. Thought I might as well show that. And then I think it was Rob. It's your fault, but not really. Because this is my favorite Overkill album. I saw you post that you were spinning this earlier. Or maybe it was yesterday. I don't know. But uh, I don't have this on CD or anything. I might have it on cassette. I'm not sure. But uh, I knew I had it on vinyl, so I dug it out. Gave that a spin. God. Love this album. It's so wicked. Old school lyrics where it was, you know, of course we were younger then, so we could see all this, but now you need like the magnifying glass right, to read these lyrics. Good thing they're all in the brain. So, no worries. Yeah. It's got some scratches on it and stuff, but still plays fine. And that's the main thing. Now, uh, this one, uh, I don't know if somebody posted this uh, a few weeks ago that they were listening to it or maybe it was their second album but uh, anyway I pulled this one out to play Malice in the beginning love Malice just a straight up brutal wicked heavy metal band great great album License to Kill is really good too yeah, everything on this is just wicked. This one scratched up pretty good, but no, well, not that bad. It still plays. It doesn't skip, so can't be that bad. Right? And finally, playing in the background as we speak, or as I speak, not as you speak. Actually, I have. This is my first time listening to this. I haven't actually played it before. Just kind of put it away. <laughs> so this is the uh, official bootlegs of the Witch Hunter decade of Sodom. So it's like a big tri tribute to Witch Hunter. It's double disc gatefold, all kinds of photos in there. Just wicked. You take a look at that track listing. Can't go wrong with that. So, I got one in there playing now, it's this one. So this is the insert for the disc that's playing. And this is for disc two. Now, I don't know what this is limited to or how many colors it came in or whatever, but this one is clear red vinyl. It's got the cool witch hunter center rings on it. So, it's Sodom, right? And it's, um, you know, old school bootleg stuff, so it's raw, just in your face, raw Sodom, the way you like Sodom, right? So, wicked, wicked. So, anyway, that's uh, what I played so far today. I know the day's not over, but uh, I thought while I'm making videos, I will make it now. So uh, have a good one. See you later.